As women, juggling our careers and home life is commonplace, and with 75% of women between the ages of 25 and 54 in the working world, some single mothers going to work for the first time, behavior at work could not be more important to their successes. Today, we are joined by Jocelyn Greenkey, co-author of the book, The Big Sister's Guide to the World of Work, to tell us about the inside rules. Hi, Jocelyn. Good Hi. to see you. Thank you. So what are the, what are the biggest inside rules for women in the workplace? Um, one thing that's really important is to find yourself a mentor in the workplace and that means that's somebody in your line of approval of authority but a senior person who is um, outside of that authority and what so not your direct boss but no. somebody else and could it be a man or a woman either one and how do you ask them do you go up to them and say excuse me can you mentor me it's an excellent question what happens is that just like you're trying to befriend anybody you go and try to befriend them and you try to find out what uh, their personal interests might be, if they have children or they're married, what kinds of things are they interested in and really literally strike up a friendship. And you have to do that no matter how you do that, but in a very low-key, non-pushy manner. So it doesn't look kind of sneaky and conniving, but right. just generally interest in how they got to their Position. Right, and what they do is will help you with the inside secrets of the company to know how to behave, who to avoid, who to embrace, what divisions are going to be looking for somebody new, and that's really worked for me. And the, all of the things that are in the book are really representative of things that we have done. So we are talking from real experience, and I got myself a mentor at every single job I've had, and it has worked out very well. Now, you also in your book talk about very specifically how to deal with the boss, the big chief. Any advice for women? Um, you know, dealing with the boss is really important because you have to study the boss as if they're a case, in a way. <laughs> You're serving the boss. That's the job of an employee. There's no bad-mouthing the boss, even if you hate his or her guts, because that stuff is easily repeated and such juicy gossip that everybody wants to, to hear about it. Because right. if your boss wants things in blue ink on purple paper, don't buck the system deliver it exactly how it is. Always answer the boss with, yes, I will, no problem, will do, of course. Not always that you're right and you have a, a right to express your opinion, but you have to really see how and when the boss can most hear you and in what sense you can do it. So you have to really study that person. You have a cute metaphor in the book that you talk about dwarves at work. What are the dwarf personalities that women can put on that make them small in the office? Right. Um, one of the things is, again, saying I'm sorry. That's just absolutely terrible. A lot of women do that. It's an inappropriate thing to say if somebody hits you or you mistakenly hit somebody else, but I'm sorry is one of the things that... Because you lose your power. You lose your power. You need to be direct. Please fax this, please email this, please follow up on it, right? Well, I'm sorry, would you do this for me? Exactly. I'm busy. Right. It really it it delineates what your your power. That's exactly okay, right. Okay, find a mentor, study the boss, right. don't apologize for your actions, and make sure you network with the right people that will help you understand the corporate culture. Right. It's really important that when you chat and hum, which is a term that we use in the book, um, I personally hate the word networking because it seems so sterile in a way. Yeah. So um, when you chat and hum and have a very nice conversation with somebody else, which you should be working 60% of your time at work and 40% of your time out getting to know your coworkers, understanding you know the systems in place. Jocelyn Greenkey, thank you so much for being here. The book is The Big Sister's Guide to the World of Work. On a final note, who do you trust at the office? No one. No one. You hear that, everybody? You don't trust anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today on The Balancing Act. Tomorrow, strengthen your marriage with the help of relationship specialist and author of the book, Shatterproof Your Marriage, John Eckenweiler. Also, how to manage the symptoms of multiple sclerosis by eating a whole foods diet and incorporating regular exercise into your life. Have a great day. I'm Dr. Wendy Walsh. We'll see you tomorrow on The Balancing Act. If you have a story idea that would help other women add balance to their daily lives, you can email it to us at comments at thebalancingact.com. Also, check our website, thebalancingact.com, for more information about our show.